Also today, we're learning more about the teenager shot and killed outside the Douglas Community Center. Thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. Hi there, I'm Shay Arthur in for Alex Coleman this afternoon. WRG's Alan Self joins us now live from North Memphis with what led up to that shooting. Alan, what'd you learn? Police say a fight between two teenagers sparked the shooting. Neighbors across from the community center say they saw this coming because of the frequent gambling and fighting by teenagers after school. Shots picked up from a ring camera, followed by police cars outside the Douglas Community Center on Ash Street. Cause they always be out there every evening, but I guess they say they, they say the little boys be going back there shooting dice. I guess. Rodney Young, a painter, witnessed the chaos from across the street. Young says he's seen his fair share of violence, but he refuses to let the shooting stop him from working. As long as I made it out, I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> I go pray anywhere. Jakedra Gilliam and Vakedra Walker are sisters. Walker says her daughter went to school with a deceased freshman, 16 year old Mario Van Hook. Well, she said just because she uh, she know of the young man because you know this is her last year as well. And for this situation to happen, you know, tragically, uh, he lost his life due to this uh, senseless act. Uh, don't know the reason why, but I just hate that this happened to him his last year, so he really didn't get a chance to live his life. Her twin sister says due to the violence here, her children do not attend school in Memphis. Are you happy they don't go to school here? Yes, yes, I'm happy because it's too much. It is too much. Born and raised in Memphis, she says the city has changed drastically since her youth. Very worse. These young kids not thinking. They're not thinking. Caitlin Yates, a 12 year old student, has a message for those responsible for the shooting. Stop all the violence and killing people for none. Unnecessary stuff. Put all the guns away. Police say no charges have been filed at this time. Live in North Memphis, Alan Self, WREG News Channel 3. Okay.